Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to print on an Epson ET-2760 wireless all-in-one printer. This will be a full tutorial with different methods, so let's get right into the video, okay? So basically, I'm gonna show you two methods to print on this printer right here, and I'm gonna tell you about a third method as well. Um, actually, I'll be showing you one, sort of explaining the second one with a sort of example, and then the third one I'm just gonna tell you about because I don't have the cord right here with me right now, but I'll show you where it's located. So anyways, let's get right into the video. The first method is via, wirelessly via a phone, okay? Now, on your phone, you're likely going to have a printing option, okay? Now, I'm going to be showing this with my old iPhone, and I'm just going to be showing this via AirPrint. So, just give me a sec. Let me load up a picture right here, just like this. So, as you can see right here, here's a picture that I took of myself. You know, not maybe not the most flattering picture, but you got to love my bald and beautiful head right there. So, you can see I took it recently just on Tuesday at 7.39 p.m. Great time to take a picture. Anyways, without further ado, in order to print on this printer wirelessly via a phone, you need to make sure that you are connected to the same wireless network that the printer is connected to. So right now, I'm connected to a wireless network. The printer is connected to the same wireless network. Everything is up to date. What I'm going to do now from an iPhone, and on an Android, it's going to be very similar. I'm going to hit the share button over here. So just give me a moment. I want to make sure nothing pops up that I don't want any to see. Yeah, we're good. It's all good. You're going to scroll down to print. So I'm just going to look at the actual phone. I'm trying to look through the screen, but it's not working. There we go, because I can't quite see through the screen properly I'm gonna hit print right here and what's gonna pop up is an option to select a printer now generally this printer would already be selected but right now I think since I just restarted the phone the printer is not selected so I'm gonna click on printer okay and you can see right here Epson ET-2760 series printer I'm gonna click that right there and it's gonna go ahead and it's gonna gather the printer information and give me additional options so you see it says presets default settings I can create different presets that will literally automatically formulate the way that it's going to be printing okay one copy I can push push I can push plus or minus to change the number of copies black and white I can turn that on or off I'm going to turn on black and white because I don't want to waste any coloring just on this picture sometimes when I do these tutorials and I print out a picture of myself like this I'll uh, put it on the fridge just as a joke because I do these videos usually pretty late at night for the most part so then you know I put it on the fridge late at night my family my wife and kids will wake up and find like this picture just plastered on the fridge sometimes if I'm doing a lot of tutorials they'll find 10 of them so yeah it's kind of funny anyways paper size letter which is what is loaded in there okay media and quality auto select media type normal quality you can go ahead and choose to print you know high quality and different media types if you're putting in a uh, a, a, a picture paper or anything like that whenever you're ready you're gonna hit print now I'm just gonna give it a moment here and it's, it should start printing if I just give it a moment you can see it says printing right there I'm gonna let it print okay and uh, so it's just saying check your ink levels regularly I'm gonna give it a moment, it should print. I'm in my basement kitchen, so it, the Wi-Fi is a little bit slower here than, than usual, um, but as a rule of thumb, it usually prints really fast, but it took a few extra moments to connect and send the, uh, the document over just because I'm in my basement kitchen. So, the fastest prints, the first method is essentially using a phone, okay? Very, very simple, I'm gonna place that over there as it finishes printing this lovely, beautiful picture over here. Um, let's see, yeah, so it's, it's actually printing to be really big. I could have chosen different settings, but that's it. The second method is with the computer wirelessly. So what you need to do is you need to have this printer's driver installed on your PC, okay? So if you have the, the, the driver installed on this computer, let's take a look at this. Look at this beautiful face. Oh my gosh. The man behind the camera right there. The man, be I'm putting this on the fridge. Look at the size of this thing. Look at this, how much ink I used on this. This is going on the fridge 150%. The best part about this is that I took this for another tutorial and it's literally, I'm standing in the exact position that I'm in right now. That's all behind me. That's why it's funny. But it was done another night. Anyways, <laughs> I, can't wait to, I can't wait for my family, my wife and kids to wake up and see that on the fridge. So anyways, you're going to install this, the, print, the driver for this printer on your PC or your, 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 your Apple device, whatever the case is, on your computer. You're going to be connected to the same wireless network on both, and then you're going to hit print on your software. Like, file print usually is what you have to go to, okay? In some cases, you can even do a keyboard shortcut to print, okay? That's it. That, it's that simple. Choose your options, 
print it out. The next thing that I'm gonna tell you about the third method is via a wired connection, okay? So if you take a look over here, let me just turn this to the side here. Okay, let me get my, let me get my old phone out of here. Just place it to the side like that. Now there's actually a USB port over here, I believe, yeah, right there, there's a USB port right there. You can plug in to this USB port and connect this to a computer, whoa! My, uh, my show notes, I have like these notes that I make for these videos, just fell into the sink. Luckily the sink is dry, relatively dry. So you can connect a, uh, a USB cord from this port over here to the USB port on your computer, which is on the side over here. I don't need to show you. It's just a regular USB port. Although this is a different type than like the standard one that you're used to seeing. And on your PC, you're probably gonna find a regular USB or USB type C. Anyways, you're going to connect it via a wired connection, and then the same thing, make sure you have the printer's driver installed in the computer, and then print it. You, the, the only uh, difference is that you don't need to be connected to the same wireless network because you wired it up to the printer. So you don't need to be connected to the to a wireless network at all because you wired it up to the printer. That's basically it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment, and of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.